Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> My brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Okay. What defeats the purpose of brushing the pet? I'm sure he feels much better. Well, yeah, it still defeats the purpose, though. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? No, I don't want to give him. I don't want to give him any of this crap. Why do I have to do this? Am I gonna get a pet? I don't really want a pet. I, I'm. I am a powerful dark wizard. What do you mean? Get out of here! What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? I don't know. Eat them anyway. I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good. That's great. He seems very nice. Yeah. Kill it. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Okay. Kill it anyway. Good work, everyone. Thank you. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. Wh why? Do be careful as you feed and groom them. Ah. Uh, Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? The Neasles? This way. The Neasles are over here. Are they cool looking at least? It's a cat. It's a goddamn cat. With a. It's like a cat lion. What are you talking about? Oh. Couple of Neasle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Canuts? something from honey jukes. <laughs> Okay. Money, money, money. Calm down. Stupid thing. <sighs> He's gonna attack you. What are you doing? Being stupid. Peculiar poppy. Worries about a worthless little rodent. Yeah, see Slytherin, exactly. Persephone! Who? Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Let's go. I thought it was funny. Here you go, kitty. You're welcome. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poaching oh. and training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. No problem. Let's carry on. Okay, I'm jumping in. Hello. Just as you did with Gerald. Do I have to? You get a brush, and you get a brush, and you get a brush. Hey, feed. Boot. What is this? Oh, it can't interact until after it's done brushing. Okay. There you go. Uh. Her knees was really thing. They know a good egg when they see one. I am not an egg. What are you saying? Our time has come to wait, I didn't feed this one. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. 
There you go. Ho ho, almost forgot about that one. I would have got murdered. Where is our new student? Ah, there you are. Here I am. I would like a moment, please. Oh, uh, nah, bye. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? Hola. Mm -hmm. How did you find your first beast lesson? Well, I did the same thing twice. Uh, I'm going to do this one. It's all right, but honestly, I find the beast's unpredictability unnerving. Wouldn't know it the way you handled them. You'll soon... That's because I'm programmed to do that. Beasts can play a vital role in our lives. That's cool. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly. Well, it better be badass, is all I'm saying. Them for Pretty sure I can swear now. <laughs> well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly nah. I'm part of Slytherin. <laughs> Please. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumble suffer? Over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Oh. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice. Something. I don't know what the hell that was, anyway. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't what happened? I I wasn't listening. <laughs> that we can control. Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up. Oh, uh, why? Bro, every time. Look out for my owls. Oh. I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Oh, what if I don't want to, man? What? Okay. Hey. Oh. What are you whispering for? I like to whisper too. What is it? Do you need something, Poppy? What is it? Again, for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You're welcome. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> it's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Okay. At least that's what we decided it meant. Why? Okay. Them harm the poor thing. We're I could. Actually, uh, for a little bit, and then I'd be like, okay, that's enough. We're done. Someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Uh, in the forest, fine. Read me. Very well. Lead the way. Lead the way. There you go, buddy. In fact, you're Shh, the first. Don't tell nobody. Really? Don't well, tell nobody. I think. Okay. Don't tell nobody I gave you those. Okay, you take care, kitties. I, I am whatever you are. I don't know. We're going to Flanders Fields, Poppy. I don't know if it's a joke. Joe. Stand back. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. I don't want to bow. Man. Now you're not scary at all. <laughs> Am I still bowing? Why am I still bowing? Do you not see that I have a helmet, Hippogriffin? I am a warrior. Let me own you. I haven't. I, knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a Hippogriff take to someone this quickly. Okay. And then I'm going to give, I'm going to see if she wipes the brush. You want a brushy? There you go, ma'am. I, ma'am, yeah. Listen, you can keep talking. I'm done listening. I'm trying to ride this now. There you go, have some treats. There you go, ma'am. There you go, look at that. Oh yeah, eat them all. Yeah, eat two at a time, you're good. Want some more? Here, have some more. Oh wait, what happened? Why couldn't I give her more? Oop, oop, oop. Okay. All that and I don't get to ride it? That's, that's lame. What happened? Come back here right now, I want to ride you. <laughs> what? What did you think of High Wing? It's my pet now. <sighs> I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I Ooh. suspected you two might get along. No, I wanted to run, but anyway. Students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest. Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, 
they'll always be there for you. Oh. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? They didn't it's want to know, but. Story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Oh, yeah? Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. What happened? You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. So mm -hmm. I worry they could get her again. Mm -hmm. And that I might not be there next time. Professor oh. Helen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I yeah. I often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The so what are you saying? influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. There's probably a massive... Uh... You may be reading into it. Talking to people isn't a crime. True. It's hard to explain, but something about it just feels wrong. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Uh, I wouldn't. Poachers are dangerous. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. The poachers seem a dangerous lot. They don't scare me. Besides, I'd do anything to keep Highwing safe. Okay. You seem undeterred. Mm -hmm. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I okay. should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. No. Bye. Oh, they're gone. I was going to give him a little snack. Dang it. Why are they gone? Oi. Where'd you put the cats at? Definitely not in there. Dang it. Well, okay. Now, well, now we can put our spells back on. Is dinner time? Nobody gave me the memo. Where is Slytherin? Pretty sure Slytherin's all the way over here, right? Hell yeah. Go ahead. I'm ready. Boom. So good. Thank you for the Slytherin token. Yo, this is this plate has egg and a chicken wing on it. I want to sit here, please. This this is like breakfast and dinner at once. This is brunch right here. This is a very nice place. It's very smooth in, until I look that way. But it's very smooth in here until I look. Need some optimization still. But anyway, I don't, door opened the wrong way. Oh, hello. I do, Gareth. Always, all the time. Uh, that was an interesting class. Were you calling me, Gareth? Are you calling me, Gareth? I was. Mm -hmm. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. Of course. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage. That's so I'm stupid. Missing a key ingredient. Um. <sighs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's Oof. a gift, truly. So, truly. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, oh, yeah. but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping I agree. you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Why would I want to do that? Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank True. You. You're welcome. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. Oh. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. Okay. Uh, I'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You mm -hmm. shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Um, no, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do second. With my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay. Well, um, I'm still doing second. Hello. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping. Oh. To see you again, my young friend, uh, mm -hmm. Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. Okay. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit. Uh, unsteady when we last met i'm afraid i had a rather disconcerting encounter although i hear your visit to hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine i was okay yeah call it eventful yeah i certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack no oh, of course not uh, and from what i understand the village was lucky you were there mm -hmm. in fact my recent visit to hogsmeade is the reason i was hoping to bump into you i could use your help with something which is you see that curious statue over there yes watch what happens when that light changes from day to night we're gonna stand here all day i could have done something in this time 
Oh. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment. Okay. You can remove the moon from the statue. Okay. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. Oh. Why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. We're walking? Ever since that fateful day in the village. Yeah. Those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Okay. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You oh. see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart. Or shapeshifter, if you will. Okay. Which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. I don't know what that is. Demigod. I don't know what that is. Yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered Bowley? when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible oh. experience. Uh, those statues are demigods. The moons, oh. I assume, are an uninspired play on my Okay. Some jack and apes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. One. Okay. A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. <laughs> okay. Second, as macabre and idiot Hello. demiguise is, uh -huh. most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Faculty but tower. Start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what's in it for me? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Hell yeah, Slytherin talk. Sure, there's very little <laughs> risk, and there is in fact a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Nice. Uh, First, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Yes. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. That's fair. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. Okay. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alohomora, that's how. Alohomora. Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. True. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> Oh, those were the days. Good job. Why are you the caretaker now? One statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. That's where I have to go, actually. Oh, and thank you. You're welcome. That's where I have to go to get my achievement. Oh. Oh, that's right. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Alohomora. Sweet. Alohomora. Alohomora. Oh no, it's time puzzle stuff. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, I sees. I sees, okay. I don't like that, but I see. Oh, thank you. Use a disillusionment charm so mm -hmm. no one claps eyes on you. Okay. Restricted area of the castle, after all. That is true. All right, no problem. I got you. Brilliant. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness. You're as fearless as I'd hoped. True. Excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Okay, I'll collect more, definitely. Suspected peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. Mm. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. 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 I 
am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor. Okay. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Mm -hmm. uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Okay. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Okay. I'll keep looking. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. Yes. No problem. No problem. Oh, return. I did that. I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Okay. What was the password? I don't know. I forget. Do not ask me what it was because I have no idea. Descendium. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. Who knew this was all down there? Holy crap. Okay, let's go. Oh, is it Reparo? Reparo. There we go. Yep, I don't know why they make stuff look broken when I could just fix it. You know what I mean? If it's the teachers that are doing it, I have no idea. That seems to have done the trick. Yeah. Let's go on in. Let's do this, probably, because it seems like the right thing to do. Look, I have 100 FPS in this cave. I wish I had 100 oh, FPS all the time. To surprise me. I wish I had 100 FPS all the time, but the second I leave this cave... Nope. <laughs> 100% needs more optimization. That just confirms it right there. There's something in the game that the game doesn't like. That did the trick. That did it. True. I did it. I need to find a way to open that gate. Oh, yeah. There we go. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Oh. Okay. Oh. Little whole. Th yeah, it's a whole thing. Of course, it's a whole thing. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. That's true, yeah. See, now outside the cave, I don't know what it is. Oh, I think maybe it's loading everything. I can nope. The Went from 100 to 55. I'm not even I'm not even in a big area. I think it's the lights. There's a good chance it's probably the lights. I have the Lillywig. Lillywig's things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. I don't know what the heck that is, but I would not eat that. What is this? Anyway, Clementine. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Will it Clementine. Charmed. Okay. Musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was okay. at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. I bet, yeah. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You what? Want me to follow the butterflies. Why would I want to do that? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. That's because you can't follow spiders. That's from the. But very well. If I have time. Why couldn't we follow the trail of butterflies? <laughs> these days have so much more courage than I ever did. Yeah. How old are you, by the way? I hope to see you soon. Uh huh. Yeah, let's put let's put the students in harm's way. That makes sense. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Ah, fuck off. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willards, he might get an answer about these butterflies. There you go, sir. You enjoy that, sir. You enjoy that, sir. Boom. Uh huh. Right here. What is this? Well, well. Moving portraits. What we have here. Oh, okay. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. I do. It led me to a portrait. Well, what happened? Did you find them? I did. Uh. I did, and I followed. We lie. We always lie. But I'm afraid there was nothing to see. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yep. 
nonetheless, I'm, I'm grateful that you tried. Mm -hmm. it, it was very brave of you, really. Well, thank you. You take care, my friend. Yeah. She needs to get the fuck off of the butterflies. She's how old now? Like, grow up, ma'am. Fuck the butterflies. You should have went in there yourself. I'm keeping whatever I find. There we go. I got all the flu flames now. Hell yeah, brother. What is this? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. You should. I can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. True. Liaison to the mer people. Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. Okay. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. I don't remember that. Good to see you again. And you. you oh, no, yeah, yeah, I do. I like. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. Uh, I think you're wasting your time. I'm not so sure this is a worthwhile endeavor. Yeah. Do the mer people even want to be liaised with? They seem to be open to it so far. Okay. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried okay. telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. I bet. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? I guess so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm okay. not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. This is stupid. This is real dumb. Yeah, just there. Wait to hear about what you find. Ah. Back you go, no, you naughty plug. There we go. This seems real stupid, but I will do it. What do we have in here then? Narada will be happy about this. A mermish artifact. Oh. Okay. Can I get my broom from right here? I can. Not to swim back either. Look at that. Don't even need to know how to swim, just so you know. <laughs> the mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Mm -hmm. oh. That's wonderful news. I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our mm -hmm. relationship with them is already so tenuous. True, true. Ah. Uh. I quite like the idea of an authentic Murmish artifact. I'm tempted to keep it myself. Yep. What? Why would you do that? That gift was a gesture of goodwill. It was. Exactly. Going to show it to the ministry. And that's why I decided to keep it. If you really wanted this, then perhaps you should, you should have fetched it yourself. Yep. I would. If I knew how to swim. You better fucking learn. Set relations between wizard kind and mer people back decades. We'll find out. That Thank you. I shall definitely need to learn how to swim. Or use a bubble head charm. Mm hmm There you go. Now you're thinking. You're welcome. I put that thought in your head. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Adley? Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. Okay. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Well, that's, you shouldn't have done that. He wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh. oh. Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. That was stupid. I think he deserved it. Sounds like Milo knew exactly what he was in for and risked your life as well. Exactly. Oh, no, M Milo wouldn't have thought that way. He wasn't a bad wizard, merely a bit overconfident at times. And stupid. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The and you want me to go get it? Uh, Milo's name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, is it a spider? Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. Uh, so that his daughter would have something to remember him by, but I... Uh, I am not going in there. Fuck. If I 
have time, I can try to collect the Elune watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Just watch me. Forget I said anything. Okay. Let's go get the stupid heirloom from the stupid freaking thing. Definitely a spider. Definitely not a smart idea at all. Ow. That's right, sir. Get wrecked. This is in my way. This is in my way. This is in my way. There we go. Fire. I bet you like fire, don't you, sir? Watch this. Easy game. What is this? Get the fuck out of here, stupid spider. You like that, sir? Oh, let me just get warmed up a little bit so I know how to frig to kill you. Confringo. I love Confringo. Do you love Confringo? You're about to learn how to love Confringo. That's right. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Yeah, it could also be death. Let's just find out, I guess. Yeah, this looks like death to me. Oh God, oh God. I already died. One shot. This is level 30. Oh. Yeah, there ain't no goddamn way I'm doing this. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. Oh, yeah? It's just south of Hogwarts. Okay. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Oh. I'm constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? That's true, yeah. This rather irritating task off my hands. I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Okay. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, let me talk to you though, because I actually need... I need a focus potion. How do I drink the stupid potion? What? Oh. Anyway, focus. And then... Maxima... And... Eaterus. Did I get the quest done? I did, okay. I have to go to a potions class, okay. I have a talent, I guess? I do have a talent. Now I'm gonna take this, this is ancient magic. We take all ancient magic stuff, okay? <laughs> Anything that helps the ancient magic, we take. Okay, good talk. Good class. You might want to close that, ma'am. I think. Maybe you don't want to close it. Oh. I completed your assignments, Professor. Yes, I did both of them. You should be ready to learn the pulso. Nice. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Show me the way. Do not let your mind wander. Okay. The pulso. Now I can go do the main quest. Hey yo. Excuse me, ma'am. You. you too. Hello, Miss Ryan. I want to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I this am. person's a good actor. I like his voice. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes. Or her, his voice. Oh, whatever. He's a friend. Uh. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock oh. loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? 
I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Randrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you. Thank you, Serena. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. Okay. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. That's some good acting right there. That is some good acting, I'm not gonna lie. Even got the voice cues down, or the, the breathing cues down and everything like that. I Solid. That's solid acting. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. Bro. I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to yeah. so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Ugh, because... Serona said our interests may be aligned. Perhaps she was wrong. Hmm. Well, if Serona believes we have common goals, then it is possible that we can trust each other. Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Is it level 30? <laughs> a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Ah, uh, sounds like a trap. How do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies. Okay, this is a trust thing. And meet me near the witch's tomb. I guess if that lady trusts him, I will also trust him. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Oh. Place, isn't it? That's okay. I might take that back though, but for the most part it looks like okay. <laughs> I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Okay, thank you. you. Set off. Do you have any questions? No. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. Yep. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Okay, you too. Thank you very much, sir. Eagerly awaiting your return. Please be careful. No problem. I got you. Uh, this looks like. Curious. Yeah. God dang it. I keep wasting those because I'm hitting tab. I think it's my inventory. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, look. Zombies. Wow. Powerful zombies. <laughs> uh, with fire spells to make them vulnerable. Okay. Got it. Wah. That's not. Wah. Experiamus, bitch. <laughs> so I have to put the butterflies in here first, maybe? Ah, I see. I see. You're supposed to be burning alive, sir. Okay. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Levioso. That's right, sir, you ain't shiznads. Okay. Lumos. And then door. There we go. Yep, I'm a genius. Which final resting place? Yep. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Well, this looks. Welcome to show this to Lord Gok. Signet ring. 
Oh. This is probably not good. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Mm -hmm. They got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. Oh. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Okay. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. This is probably a freaking uh before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small with Ranrock. Okay. Okay, now we're now we're going for the cool kill. Yeah. Bah. Aha! Defeat trolls. True. That's it. There it is. I found it. Okay. Not even anywhere near the tent. Who? No more. What's that? Nothing. I don't know. Where, where did I go? You want a bit? Oh. Okay. Compulso, ma'am. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, my God. You guys are so trash. Absolute trash. Ow. Oh, you're going to do this crap. Okay. Oops. What happened? So not even anywhere near that. Hello? Hello? Okay, okay. Let's get this freaking... Okay, that's fair. Stop, stop, stop her. Oh, god dang it. Get this bitch out of here. That's right, get that bitch out of here. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Mm-hmm. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. True. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. You're welcome. It looks like a helmet. It looks like a helmet to me. Yep. <laughs> You're looking at what it is rather than what it means. Mm -hmm. For most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Oh yeah. Then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. True. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. Okay. It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. I no longer trust you now. We speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Okay. I do not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Okay. I no longer trust you, though. <laughs> Just so you know, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and bye bye.